All right, what's up everybody? Winston Davis here with Move Up Consulting and welcome. Uh, we are in video two of our series on the art of recognizing movers. Last week we talked about why to recognize movers. This week we're going into when to recognize movers. So this is all about the timing, the frequency, uh, the environment that, that they're in, all the, the nuances of the timing, okay? So we're gonna jump right in. Before I do though, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, if you're watching this, give us a subscribe. Brett will put something over here or maybe there'll be some big like arrow with a button with a little finger going down like that. But help us out. We're trying to grow this channel. We wanna be able to help more people. Uh, basically, it works like this. If you subscribe, the more people that subscribe, the more likely other moving company owners are gonna see this channel and it'll help more people. So, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. We'll, we'll uh, get you all the good stuff. Let's jump in. When to recognize movers. So let's start with the timing. This is so important because it, it's like such a very small, it's like a teeny, teeny little detail. And if you don't do it right, it has a huge impact on the results. So when to do this, timing. Let's say, ultimately, you want to recognize the person for a positive action immediately after they have done X positive action, as fast as you can. And think about like dog training, okay? If the dog does, the, does what I want him to do, immediately I give him a treat, right? And so again, people aren't dogs, but the same concept lies true. We want to recognize people immediately after they do the thing that we want them to do. So there are things in the business though that I think a lot of moving business owners think, well, you know, why, why do I need to recognize somebody for being on time or being in uniform or things that they think uh, should be standard, right? And ultimately, you should recognize anything positive in your business. If it doesn't happen 100% all the time, then that means it needs to be worked on. It doesn't matter what you think. What matters is the business getting better. That is what matters. So where we wanna go with this is, let's say that somebody shows up on time for work, okay? If you're the one dispatching crews or if you have a manager dispatching, they should be verbally recognizing that person being on time. Like if there's somebody there, there at the, the warehouse or the office 10 minutes early, we should be saturating them with positive words, okay? And, and it's not just, hey man, Good seeing you, good morning, man, right? And then just kind of like doing your thing. It's like, hey, Josh, come here, man. Come here, come here. Hey, I wanna tell you, you're doing what you need to be doing, showing up 10 minutes early. That's what it takes to move up in this company and be great. I recognize you, I see you, keep doing it every single day. You're gonna make a huge impact here, right? Like these powerful one-on-one -on -one words with your people even on the smallest things, even if it feels like it's like kind of frivolous and it's kind of like, well, the guy should be doing that anyways. Recognize him for it, right? If the guy's in uniform and it's like been washed and it's not all wrinkled and looks like crap, recognize him for looking clean. Recognize him for being in uniform. Recognize these things and do it immediately after you, you see it, okay? If you guys have like a team communication channel and your guys send like a photo of you know, the loaded truck afterwards with their tears. They got all these nice tears. Uh, they send you a photo of it, immediately recognize them. Like if I'm, if I'm a, like an ops manager or even if you're the owner, so one of your guys sends a great photo, shoot, I'll call them. And they think it's gonna be something bad, I'll call them. Hey, Josh, don't wanna take a lot of your time, man. I just saw your photo in the Slack channel um, of your tier load. Just wanna tell you, dude, that looks awesome. And it deserved me calling you one-on-one. -on -one. I just wanna tell you, you're doing a great job. Let me know if I can help you finish out that thing. And we'll see when you get back, right? It's a quick call, but like that means a lot. You know, what if you're like, well, I don't want to interrupt them with a phone call. Okay, get creative people. Like there's more than one way to do this. Send a video. Okay, we're, I don't even know where my single phone is. Um, send a video. Okay, record you saying it and then send it in the chat. How long does that take, right? So many times we just use our thumbs and we just type a message. It's like, send a video with your face talking and put it up here so they can see you, so they can hear you. And then when you speak, speak from here, okay? Speak from here, make it genuine, all right? Frequency, you wanna be doing this daily, daily. You wanna be recognizing people daily. 
you and your management team should have like a competition on, you should literally like in the office, you should have a whiteboard and you should have a tally mark with how many recognitions you did through the day. And you should make a competition out of it. That's what you should get paid, people should be getting paid bonuses on. Not you as the owner, you shouldn't be getting a bonus for it. But your management staff, like that is what is gonna help build the culture in the business. If you have a better culture and people wanna stay, do you realize that helps your retention? It helps your hiring, it helps your recruiting, it helps the overall atmosphere and the morale. Like that is the core blood of the business. Our people, you gotta figure this stuff out. You have to. Scenarios, we already talked about a couple. Um, I'll try to give you one more. So let's say, uh, I don't know, let's say that you come in one morning, you check the trucks from the day before. Trucks, you know, truck number two looks spotless, man. I'm telling you, the pads are folded perfectly. Everything's back the way it should. You got paperwork with their inventory checked off in the office. Truck is clean, been wiped down. There's no trash. The floor of the, of the bed's been swept. It is perfect. It's better than when they took it out. That deserves recognition and it's immediate, okay? As soon as you see it. Again, shoot a video. Like that's such an easy way to send a video and call people out, okay? Call people out in a good way. Recognize people in public. Criticize them in private, okay? Praise and recognition is about public. You wanna make it known to the group, okay? And then the environment. Overall, what I just touched on, being in public, like you want an audience because there's this, and I can't exactly, you know, put it all to words, but like, there's something about when you see somebody else get recognized for something, that guy ain't no better than me. And then you go do, you start doing the good things and the positive things because innately, what do we all want on a human nature basis? We're hungry for recognition. We're hungry for positive affirmation, okay? And so now your other guys are going and doing those positive things. So if you recognize being on time a ton and you make an emphasis around it, you know what happens? All your other guys start kind of moving in that direction. But if all you do is yell, complain, there's a word that starts with a B and uh, it ends in an itch about people not being on time, that does not help your company. And that's what we all gotta get in our brains. You have to be thinking about investing positive deposits. Positive deposits, okay? You wanna do it immediately. You wanna do it daily, okay? You and your management team, it should be a competition on recognitions, all right? You wanna do it in public, all right? We talked about that. And there's so many areas to recognize people for. We're gonna get into them on the next video, but I, it's so important to understand these concepts. Do it immediately, okay? Don't wait a week, don't wait a day. Do it immediately as you see it. Do it as often as you can. Daily is the best, you know, is, is probably the best. Multiple multiple times a day is probably great, but daily and then you wanna do it in public, okay? I'm, I'm reiterating these things because you gotta get them down. You have to get this stuff down. The better you have the system and the methodology, the better your results will be when you're executing these things. Like this is real strategy. This is real business. It's about people. It's the hardest part about business. Marketing isn't the hardest, sales isn't the hardest, buying trucks isn't the hardest, it's people. It's managing people. So, that's all we got. Subscribe again to the YouTube channel, okay? So important, we're trying to grow this channel huge and we wanna be able to help a bunch of people. We will see you on the next video. Peace.